from the IHTN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hi, my name's Owen Norwell. And I'm Lena Bruscato. This will be the last episode of Braves Beat that the seniors produce and watch, which, depending on who you ask, could be a good thing or a bad thing. Looks like us seniors have about two hours of school left, ever. But let's rewind about a week and see what the seniors and others have been up to for the past week. Western. Now on to sports. First, a late congratulations to Dan Edmondson. We missed him last week when listing the Cincinnati Enquirer's Winter All-Stars. Dan is an All-Star for swimming. Way to go. Next, the varsity boys tennis team have been competing fiercely this season. Your Braves lost their team match to Seven Hills in a very close 2-3 battle. Our boys now plan on taking on sectionals and then making it to districts for both singles and doubles. This past Saturday, the Lady Braves lacrosse team beat Mount Notre Dame a game that was thrilling from start to finish. If you want to see some more great performances by the girls lacrosse team, be sure to come out to their first match of the state tournament on Saturday. It's here at IH and begins at 10 a.m. A win this weekend will send them to the next round of the playoffs for state, so it's certainly going to be an interesting game. As for the boys lacrosse team, this past Monday they got an impressive first round win over Cincinnati Country Day 19-0. They play against Talawanda High School at home tonight at 7 p.m. Come out and show some support. It's official. The track and field Braves are the boys and girls 2019 CHL champs. Anna Podja was named CHL Girls Runner of the Year, and Mrs. Savage was named CHL Girls Coach of the Year. They also had a great performance at districts this past Tuesday, with Davis Swallow, the district champ in long jump, and Matthew Bredis, the district champ in discus. Districts continue today and Saturday, so be sure to tell the team good luck. Also, Tuesday night, Anna Podja was recognized as the Penn State Athlete of the Year. The Penn Station Athlete of the Year is... Anna Potagil of Indian Hill High School. Come on up, Anna. Congratulations. You get your plaque and your check. Very good. Fantastic work, Braves. The IHHS senior marketing students recently put what they learned in class into practice through a partnership with the Brew House Bakery. This nonprofit bakery handcrafts and sells dog treats while providing job training to young adults with disabilities. Our students researched ways to expand Brewhouse's marketing and raise awareness of their business and purpose. Great work, Braves. Upperclassmen, it's that time of year again. Prom is this Saturday from 7 to 10 at the Phoenix. With the Roaring Twenties theme rising back from the ashes, come ready to dine and dance the night away. Also, be sure to vote on the senior prom court by this Friday. Your queen candidates are Natalie Miles, Anna Potagil, Grace Thomas, and Emily Singer. Your king candidates are Sean Amato, Johnny Baltima, Connor Morris, and Albert Kwan. Even if you aren't going to prom, after prom will be going on from 10.45 to 2 a.m. at the high school. So get ready for a safe and classy night. After prom is at 11 o'clock, and it doesn't matter if you went to prom or not, and it's just $20 at the door. You can come and hang out with all of your friends. Uh, don't miss the fun activities that we have planned. There are two hypnotist show. There is laser tag, glow in the dark, ping pong, henna hands, video game room, massages, and the always popular casino rooms. Uh, food trucks are now available. You can get your fill of sweets at the Chocolate Fountain, too. There are large cash prizes this year. You could even get a parking spot, River Bend tickets, a 40-inch TV, Beats, an Apple Watch, and there are plenty of other great prizes. So come on down after prom. We've all seen Michael Overberg rolling down the hallways in his wheelchair with a smile on his face. Michael was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy when he was four years old. Now that he's graduating, Michael would like to get a service dog to break the ice when meeting new people and to give him some of his independence back. The dog would help with everyday tasks like turning on lights and opening doors. To get a service dog, Michael needs to raise $17,000, so let's step up to help one of our own. You can donate to Four Paws for Ability either by mailing a check to the address on the screen or donating online through the link in the description. Lastly, be sure to stop by the art show in the lobby to see some of the amazing work that the students in the art classes and AP Studio Art have created over the course of the year. 
That's the last of the news from us seniors for this year, Braves. Twitter, YouTube, email, you know the drill. Yep. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. I am inevitable. We're running out of time. I am Spider-Man. Oh, I look sick. Dang. Spread it out a little bit. You took everything from me. No! supposed to be me. Take me to Asgard! Take me! There's only one way to defeat Thanos.